my note-taking process. This is just to show that I think this note-taking strategy really does work. I thought it was really good, but I felt like I wasn't for theorems. I do pink. For definitions, I do blue. Okay, now overall, do I think getting an iPad or just some sort of tablet is worth it? Hi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Serena and I wanted to do a video today talking a little bit about note-taking because I know a lot of people have asked questions about it before. Just wondering, you know, like how do I take notes? Especially because I take handwritten and digital notes and I kind of have like a different process for each way so in this video today I'm basically going to be doing a online like good notes tour um, I'm just going to show you guys how I organize my good notes and all of that stuff and then I'll also show you guys my handwritten note taking like tips I guess and I'm also going to do a little bit of an iPad just like specifications I will be doing an iPad tour like a complete one later on closer to the school year just because I want to like split up these videos a little bit just so that based on what people are looking for you can watch just one video dedicated to that first things first I think I should just give an overview of my note-taking process because like I mentioned I do both digital and handwritten and you might be thinking especially if you've never watched any of my videos before you might literally be thinking like why am I putting in double the effort to take notes I take handwritten notes for most of my lectures after I'm done the lecture and so basically that means like once I get home or like when I'm in the library after the lecture I usually like to go chapter by chapter and take down notes or basically revise the lecture notes and textbook or like online reading notes into one cohesive document which means that during lecture I am still taking notes because I think it's so crucial to have just some sort of like active learning so when i'm in lecture i take digital notes and so that's on my ipad and when i do take notes on my ipad i use good notes i think it's just a really good note taking app i just debated between good notes and notability because i've heard both are really good I ultimately just chose GoodNotes. I honestly have not used Notability, so I cannot speak for which one is better. And I did previously use Colonote, which I think is a really, really good option if you don't want to pay money for note taking. I just find digital notes is way more convenient for me during lectures because mostly just due to time. It's also just really convenient because it's like a literal one device thing for all my notebooks. So I don't have to be carrying around like 10 of these throughout the day. Yeah, but overall, if I'm going to choose between the two, I will 100 100% prefer handwritten notes over digital notes. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna do a good notes tour of just my workspace, how I've organized it. And then I'm gonna start getting into exactly how I take notes based on the class, based on the concept that you learn in each class and just all that fun stuff. My overall good notes when you open it just looks like this. It's a little bit unorganized right now just because I haven't organized it for the next year yet, but I will be doing that and I'll have a video for that separately and that will be in August. What I do after every single year is I just put it all into a folder. In first semester, some of them I didn't actually really use digital notes for. Just it depended on like the lecture style. So for example, for one of my math courses, he just did slides, so I just downloaded the slides and like wrote on them. I think the best example that I can give is my calculus notes. So I took Calc 3 in second year, and this one was where I really solidified my note-taking strategy. And it got me, I think I got like an A or an A- minus in the class at the end, which is really good for engineering, like I'm not even kidding. This is just to show that I think this note-taking strategy really does work. It does depend class to class. Again, a lot of things impact your grade, but I think this really helped me just to understand the concepts really well because I think I did really have a good understanding of calculus. At the beginning of the year, I did actually take notes from my textbook on here. So that's why it like looks so nice and like organized. I thought it was really good, but I felt like I wasn't really like, I wasn't learning if that makes sense. I was just writing like aimlessly copying from the textbook. Once I did switch to like 
writing it into my notebook afterwards, it did really help. This is what I started doing in lecture, as you can see already from just what it looks like. It was a lot more messy. This was really helpful because I would, again, I would look at this, I would look at the textbook, I would combine the two into my handwritten notes, and my professor for this class was really, really good. So he would go over the concept with us. He would do really good examples, I would say, to help us. And so for example, like I would take a picture of whatever the example was up here and then I would write down what he was writing down. This is just a nice little example of how I would take notes during classes. It's not really really organized in any way. It was enough that when I went back home and looked at it, I kind of knew what happened again and I would just combine it with the textbook and write my handwritten notes, which is what I will talk about now. For my handwritten notes, I use the Muji notebooks because they're super thin which i really like so they're not really heavy i just write down what the course is on the front here nothing too fancy my general note taking strategy for this especially for math and theory heavy courses okay i wrote down some notes on what i wanted to talk about for this use the textbook as a guide when you're studying for things and that means also use it as a guide when you're learning if it's about the cost of a textbook you will be able to find it for free almost anywhere online. Okay, I'm not going to promote any of that sort of stuff right now, but I'm just telling you, you can find textbooks for free online and just ask people around and they'll probably have a resource for you. I really like color coding by definition, theorem, and examples. So as you can see here, I sort of have title of whatever the chapter is. For theorems, I do pink. For definitions, I do blue and titles i just do i think i just do green for the title because i like green but when i draw these sorts of diagrams it's so helpful because at least for me when i'm in like an exam or a test especially when it's a course where like you kind of have to visualize things like integrals and stuff like that if i read the question i try to think back at a question that i might have done and what i drew for that question and then it really helps me to like have that starting what i'm supposed to do also half the time you can get at least one point by drawing something. I just kind of go by the textbook and I kind of just like grab things that I think are important from the textbook, which is again why I think it's so important to go to lecture because then you kind of know like which parts of the textbook are important for you to write down. Other things I just grab from my notes that I took during lecture and then I put that in my handwritten notes. For example, the examples. I take either examples from the textbook or examples from lecture that we covered and then I just go over it again so that I can really ingrain how we did it and the method for doing it. Another thing is for a lot of important like formulas, I put a box around them. These are especially helpful when you need to write a formula sheet for your exams if you're allowed one. I think it's helpful because then as I'm going through my notes, I know exactly which formulas to pull. Let me show you guys actually which pens I use for each thing. I use the Muji Dark Blue 0.5 pen for these titles. For these titles, I just do a little arrow and then I write it in all caps. The pencil that I use is Pilot Super Grip 0.5. I've been using it for like literal years. I don't know where. My mom just gave it to me. I love it. The grip is super comfy. I use, this is literally, I know it looks gross. The Pentel Polymer Eraser. I use this. It's really, really good. And it's like lasted for literally generations. So I use the 0.38 black pen from Muji for just like smaller notes when I'm handwriting. The 0.5 clicky gel pens from Muji. I use blue for definitions and pink for theorems. And then the green highlighter that I use to write like those titles is just the mild liners. I really like these. I recommend just getting like a huge pack if you like these. It's green and it has two ends. So I use this for highlighting. I use this for writing titles. Now moving on to iPad specs and whether or not it's actually worth it to get an iPad or just a tablet for university and especially just for note taking. Here are my two cents about it, especially because I only bought it in second year. So I have the iPad Air 5th generation. I have 256 gigabytes, which I think is one of the lesser options of how many gigabytes you need. And I've literally only used 51 gigabytes. My Apple Pencil, I have, I think it's the Gen 2. It's like this one, but it's the one that like is magnetic. 
to the side so it like pairs really easily and then just charges i recently midway through second year second semester i got the matte screen protector so that it feels more like paper when you write on it so like it'll sound like Okay, now overall, do I think getting an iPad or just some sort of tablet is worth it? I think I'm just going to talk mostly about iPads. They're like definitely a bigger investment for you as a student. If you are not an Apple user, I don't think adding the iPad to like your accessories that you already have is super worth it. I think getting the entire ecosystem is super worth it. Again, that's dependent on so many things because it's like really expensive to get a whole apple ecosystem especially like the macbook with the ipad but i think it did add a lot more to just like me studying and making things more convenient just because so much of schoolwork nowadays is online and especially if you have like labs and stuff i would just do them on my ipad it would save me the trouble of having to print them out on paper why i say the apple ecosystem overall is so much more worth it is just because the bluetooth aspects and the icloud aspects i love airdrop it's just so convenient. If I take a picture of lecture using my iPhone, which has like a better camera, I can airdrop it to my iPad. I love the copy and paste features that Apple has. I can copy on my MacBook and paste it on my iPad and vice versa. I can extend my screen. Like things like that, I think just make it really, really worthwhile and just like saves me time and effort. But again, I know it's like a really big, like there's a huge price factor to getting all of these things. And I don't think it's needed for you to excel in school if that makes sense i don't think that getting all these fancy devices will automatically make your grade jump by like 20 percent like it 100 percent won't i think it's just more so for convenience for efficiency and things like that one thing that i do want to mention the ipad battery life is actually abysmal because tell me why i got this a year ago and it cannot last a full day my opinion is stick with the operating system that you are most comfortable with it is not worth it to completely change operating systems and literally like not know how it functions already i get really confused because i have a windows laptop for work and a macbook just in general and i learned how to use a macbook first so learning all the shortcuts and new things on windows was a big hurdle for me and in no way would i have wanted to switch just for school because it would not have made anything more efficient or quicker in any way that is all to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just how I take notes and just like to go over the entire process. I will be doing a whole like get back to school with me prep, prepping my Notion, prepping my Google Calendar, prepping my good notes, all of that sort of thing. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs> Da 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 da